Now, I wanted to talk about the whole remastered thing because I've already given my opinion on the Modern Warfare remastered uh, game itself and obviously now it's going to become quite a trend, I feel, with every new release and maybe sometime later in the year they're going to be throwing uh, one of the old Call of Duties at us and put their finishing touches on where they see fit, you know, they're just going to spruce it up and make it a little bit more special. Maybe some games that weren't available on the next gen consoles and originally the old gen console games, they're just going to take out their feather dust and give it a bit of a polish in their world in their eyes what we get delivered to us on a plate might be a different perspective of what we think should have been touched up so that's just the way the cookie crumbles now I have noticed that there are a lot of speculations and I don't really tend to do much of this speculation but I've had a bit of a theory and I was thinking about something the other day and I was like mm, okay maybe that might blow a few things out of the water there's um, there's obviously the speculation that Sledgehammer being the next developer in the cycle of the three years who are going to be making the next Call of Duty after their absolute fail fest of advanced warfare um, and it weren't a fail fest that's wrong but it was it was one of those it was a hot potato for a lot of people uh, you know for me included I didn't like advanced warfare but some people loved it some people embraced the whole change that was where everything changed and some people like yes this is the game for me I love it but my theory towards the next remastered Call of Duty is that it's not going to be Modern Warfare 2 like a lot of people are saying most people have seen well you know they've bought out Call of Duty 4 so the next one will be Modern Warfare 2 and then after that it will be Black Ops and then so on and so forth mind you they've already done Black Ops haven't they so obviously it's not going to be Black Ops unless they decide to remaster that you know unless they decide to remake it again because it looks as though from what they bought to the Xbox one is just a sort of it's more of a, just an adaptable version whereas if they remaster it obviously they've got to tidy it all up and make everything more crisp and sharp so it's always an option that's out there and it's on the table but most people are thinking that the next one is going to be Modern Warfare 2 now I think that it being Sledgehammer who is going to be making the next game I don't know what the rules are with their sort of taking over Infinity Ward's game but what I do know is the one game that Sledgehammer have had the biggest influence on um, as far as Call of Duty goes pre-Advanced Warfare was Modern Warfare 3 and that to me is the game that is going to be the next uh, the next remastered Call of Duty it's going to be Modern Warfare Warfare 3 because they they played a pinnacle part in the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 3 so as far as permissions go and things like that that would be my that would be my gut feeling on that one they would be the ones to bring Modern Warfare 3 into the new era of gaming as far as the consoles go now I don't know how I feel about that because a lot of people didn't like Modern Warfare 3 but Modern Warfare 3 was very very popular it was a very popular game I really liked Modern Warfare 3 I'm one of the the few people that did like the game the only thing I did not like about that game whatsoever uh, well cook a couple of things the assassin thing yeah you know there was the usual perks that didn't sit right with me but the one thing I didn't like about that game was the very serious issue of lag compensation that was the first time I ever really experienced how bad the net code with the lag compensation was if you refer to a lot of you know videos how people that, that was where it all started with people saying how to make Modern Warfare 3 more playable how to beat lag compensation that was where I started seeing all these videos that was where I started making those videos I made so many videos on how to how to deal with lag compensation in Modern Warfare 3 and there were so many people that poo pooed and uh, disregarded my <laughs> theories that um, you know were sort of agreed upon with people like Oven Bank muffin who was releasing the same sort of videos this is a man who intently sits down and sort of splits hairs with every single bit of net coding to try and find out what works and what doesn't and where the problems are now my theories and my experiments with that game weren't that detailed because I'm not that intelligent that I can sit and break things down with about three PC screens in front of me and working out why that one you know I moved around the corner there but I didn't see myself there and I'm going off this local host I just couldn't do it what I actually found with the game was that if you made your connection as crap as possible that it worked you know it, it just worked I, I would if I ever wanted to play Modern Warfare 3 I would sit and I would upload a 50 gigabyte file to YouTube and I would put everything you know in the house on Wi-Fi and just completely drain my internet and I remember seeing a video from somebody saying hey people throttling their bandwidth it's the most ridiculous thing if you had a hose and you were running water out of a hose if you put a kink in the hose to try and throttle the flow of water you're only damaging yourself and I thought that's quite a good analogy but you're just wrong so sorry about that 
for me it worked and when I got my Netduma router it worked even better I would put the sliders down to literally two from 100% or 70% right down to two so two upload two download turn everything flip reverse and that game would run so much smoother for me so as long as they don't incorporate that really bad lag compensation net coding in I think it could be enjoyable again but there are other areas of concern for me. I, there's so many things that they've done with gaming now that I don't like. Like I say, the whole sensitivity thing. I was happy with three low, four medium, and then after that it was like custom. I was happy with that. It worked well with my movement. It worked well with my aim. Now the whole sensitivity thing, they've tried to get too, too detailed with it. It's like, oh, it's horizontal, vertical. Have that at four and have that at two. That's fine. I can have it right down at the lower end so that I don't miss any of my shots. The only problem is when somebody shoots me in the back and I want to turn. <laughs> it's like a slug trying to do a complete 180 turn to run away from a, I don't know, a fox. You know, it just doesn't work for me. I'm too sluggish as I turn and I have to have those low sensitivities because my aim isn't always on point and I don't like running too high a sensitivity with the way it works at the moment, vertical and horizontal. So I'd, I'd just like to think that they would not piss around with it too much if they want to mess around with the graphics, if they want to mess around with the environment, make everything more crisp and detailed fine go for it you know I'm sure that would be welcomed people like to see that people seem more interested in the surroundings and how everything looks amazing now than uh, playability for me that playability level has to be there and um, I don't know just keep it traditional you know that's all I ask for just tradition I'm a bluff old traditionist I'm an old dog I like tradition I don't like to see too much change it's like you know I, if somebody came up to me and said oh my god your cat he's so fat and he's so cute I love it I really like it let me take him away I'm gonna I'm gonna pep him up for you I'm gonna just spruce him up a little bit I'm gonna remaster him for you and I thought oh, that's lovely thank you and they bring him to me and all of a sudden he's a fucking shih tzu dog and he's got bows and he's just changed totally changed totally unrecognizable um, when I go to I don't know play a game of chase the string with him he just falls over and he's a complete waste of time he just looks beautiful but he's complete shit so yeah don't change my cat oh and don't change my game that was what I was talking about don't change the game don't change my cat either so yeah Modern Warfare 3 I think that would be the next remastered forget about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 I think it's going to be Modern Warfare 3. That's my prediction. Apocalypse done.